everyone, Justin Fate from the Rap Institute. We are here at the ISA Sign Expo 2022, and I'm joined by, you guessed it, Michael, Michael Otto. Otto. Yellow Tools. Michael, thank you for being with us today. Thanks for having me. Awesome. So Michael is actually in the Rap Experience. You're around the Never Stop Learning Contest, but you're actually one of the sponsors of the contest as well. Yes. We've been featuring your tools because they're essential for wrapping a wide variety of objects. Uh, this year, we're wrapping 12 objects, from refrigerators to recess doors to hoods, everything. You got a tool for each one of those objects. And, and that's why I feature you guys because um, most people just think wrap, just wrapping cars. Right. But it's so much more. I mean, we got all these stories from you guys from all over the world. Um, what, 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 what stuff you guys wrap is just amazing. We just had the other guy, we had, we had, the other day we had a guy there. He's wrapping, PPF wrapping washing machines. Oh wow, okay. Like, like you know, ah, yeah, yeah. see, you know, they get, you put your jeans in there and that knob of the jeans scratches and chips it off. It looks ugly. So they, they do can pre-cut things for washing machines. And he's doing hundreds of these things. Wow. Yeah, okay. or just bumpers, like just the, the little parts where you put your, your, your purchases, your, your baskets and stuff on. Right. There's a guy. On a Saturday morning, he goes to a Walmart parking lot and he offers that wrap card for 80 or 90 bucks. Nice. And he's making what? Nine, ten a day on a Saturday morning? That's great. And and I love these stories. And I, I wanna I wanna bring these stories out in the world so sure. that people learn from others. So that's that's what it was all about. Absolutely. You know, and you know, I've known Michael for a long time. COVID was really interesting for a lot of people. Oh, yeah. The sign show stopped. But actually, I got to spend more time with you than I've been able to because we, we stopped being on the road for a while. But now we're back in person, which is great. And it's like, for me, it's super special to have this Never Stop Learning contest, the interaction. How has it been back to be at a show like this that you know you haven't been, been able to do for two years? Well, I mean, we learned a lot about social media and how to connect people uh, over the virtual ways. It was great to us, to be honest, because we learned more about uh, what you guys suffer with because yeah. you were more open to talk to us about the fuck ups. I'm sorry, me. Yeah. That's okay. Um, so, by bringing this into the wildlife again, uh, it just feels so good. It feels so good to touch base with people. Yeah. But it's it's the new world, so we have to. We have to learn to combine the virtual world yes. and the real world. Absolutely. Which is interesting. I think it's exciting because, I mean, a lot of people thought, you know, it's, it's black and white. Either you do all virtual or you do all in person. But now I think people are finding that combination of the two is fantastic. Yeah. So we remember we did that virtual thing two years ago. Yep, September it 5th. was a major success for us, for YouTube and for all of that stuff. Yeah. But we regret it to have, you don't have actual people there to get their input, influence, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. So we have to mix it, and I'm totally excited to do this. Yeah, so that's one of the things that have changed in the last couple of years. Oh yeah. But also what we like to do with the Rap Institute, and I know you do as well, and I've seen your Trello board of new tools coming out. So that being said, you know, I think you're at the, always at the cusp of what you're doing. I think we are too with the Never Stop Learning trend. We're very similar companies that way. What do you feel like in the next two or three years, a lot of people watching right now, Rap Institute members and stuff, what are the trends that they should really be preparing for to make the most money and maximize their time? Yeah, uh, surprisingly, I never thought to say that, but I, I still uh, think that PPF is just at the beginning. Yeah. I'll give you a, an example. We have, um, we have these special squeegees on that foam we have, and, and, and this guy grew 600% last year. That's a lot. So that means there is something, it's not because that thing is, it is great, but it's not because it's that great. It's because the industry is changing into that. Yep. It's increasing. The foam, the, the potion we have for it, that it's a foam potion for, for PPF, grew 800% in sales. I mean, that, that tells me something. But also the furniture wrap and object wrap industry yep. um, is, 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 is blooming. But most of the sign guys, rap guys out there, they don't see the potential. There are, I would say there are 60 million easy kitchens yes. are waiting for you to rap get up. a little, let's say the Midas touch, like with vinyl and stuff. But you should go out there and tell people how cool our industry really is. Yeah, no, I agree. I mean, I just, uh, uh, Raps Magazine is coming out with a new issue this year. And I wrote a big article about interior wraps and I feel like interior wraps are definitely the future the, the scale the volume but also having the right tools so I think this is a major point that we the name wraps 
I'm a rapper or I'm rapping things right. needs to be uh, a little bit more broad into things, objects, and away from the car yeah. and tuning. And uh, I'm, this is, it's more, it's bigger, it's way bigger. Yeah, you know, it's funny, uh, Sharif Khan, I don't know if you know Sharif, he's based out in San Francisco area. He calls his installers vinyl technicians. And awesome. in a way, I, actually, I like that. I mean, it's, I think awesome. it's a, I'm a vinyl technician is a much like as then if you're a technician, you know how to do interior, you know how to do a wide gamut. Totally. It's pretty cool. I agree Absolutely. With you. It's installer, applicator. Huh? Yeah, it's like, I, I love it. That's, let's set the standard. Absolutely. You know, and so I think what Michael said with the yellow tools, you know, we've had a lot of exposés on you over the years, but during COVID, you did a lot of more social media. You're doing a lot more with Trello and organization with your team, 3D printers, visualizers, all that kind of stuff. What can you recommend other than interior wraps and PPF for people watching right now? What can you recommend for them to do in terms of organize, organizing their companies? Because right now I feel like it's about scaling and volume. I mean, the, the answer is pretty simple. It's all about your people. It's all about your team. Um, we all talk about the shortness of, 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 of employees and how to find people. Um, and so I think money is the worst motivator. Uh, so you have to treat your people like, like gold as they are. Um, and so we bet on the lean system yep. since about I mean, 14, 15 years. And I wrote a book about this. Maybe the one or the other uh, might like it. It's all about how you treat customers, how you treat uh, your employees and how you get a winning combination of all of it. So I have, Yeltuz is 18 years old this year, and we have people joining me 14 to 15, 14 years. Wow. Most of them are two digit with me. So uh, my fluctuation is just only um, if, if someone gets pregnant, which is great, or yeah. we have the first retire, retirement this year, which okay. is also a premiere. Cool. But rather than that, people just come and they don't leave. Which is Why? Great. Because we treat them as the technician, as you say, right. that we, we set them on a, on a pedestal. Right, and I think that's a good lesson too, because I mean, I think a lot of people, if you throw money at it, the problems go away. No, that's not, not the case, you know, no. which is cool. I think that's very good advice, because I think right now, especially, I think it's all about scale and volume right now. I think the industry, if there wasn't a supply chain issue right now, I think it would be absolutely insane right now. I think that- And it's, it's, it's more of this, you, you, we all talk about the increase of material prices. The raw material prices are just like this. Right. So, Rather than just 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 getting more expensive, try to get the waste part out of your uh, jobs. Yeah, yeah. So if you are faster with the same level of quality, you can be competitive. Yeah, so we true. we have we have I mean, uh, stainless steel went up four hundred percent. Wood went up four hundred percent. But we were able to keep the level of increasement very low with cutting off the waste parts out of it. Added value is a key word. And I see a lot of shops working like they worked 20 years ago, using that old squeegee that they used to, to have 20 years ago. Man, there is so much, there is so much space, there's so much room in for improvements, especially at wrap and sign making applications, stuff like this. I don't want to sell here, but just look, take a look at the catalog, take a look and ask a question. Is it is it the right way I'm uh, the way I do it, or is there a better way? Let's talk about the better way. That's that's what I think. Brilliant. Okay. Awesome stuff. So I mean, great stuff to talk about. You know, again, for me, it's an exciting part of the industry. Great to be back in person. Yeah. We're actually going to Juicy Crab tonight. <laughs> I'm very excited. About <laughs> so anyway, Michael, always a pleasure to see you in person, yeah, and you, appreciate man. what you're doing, man. Baby, love you. Awesome. Rock and roll.